of course, we were not sure. It's that we realized that the uh, atmosphere is very complicated and that uh, we didn't know, certainly by far, everything that there is to know about it. On the other hand, uh, pieces of evidence began to, began to come in for measurements. Uh, experiments were carried out and we knew that these gases were indeed reaching the stratosphere, the CFCs. We know that there, the composition products were indeed there. What was very difficult to measure is actual effects on ozone because the ozone amounts in the stratosphere fluctuate. Uh, on the other hand, we actually did not predict that ozone would be depleted specifically over Antarctica. We just made a very general prediction that uh, this, the composition products could affect the ozone layer in general terms. So it actually came as a surprise that, uh, that this large effect was happening in this coldest place on Earth. Uh, on the other hand, with all the scientific research that had been carried out before the Antarctic ozone hole was found, it was uh, just a matter of a few years uh, for us and the rest of the scientific community to understand with experiments in the laboratory as well as in the atmosphere very clearly why is it that specifically Antarctica was a place where this hole appeared. And the reason, of course, is that it's, it's very cold there and clouds can actually form over Antarctica that do not form anywhere else in the stratosphere that are sufficiently cold to promote a new type of chemistry that we then investigated in the laboratory. So, with other words, what happens is, even though our predictions not, were not very specific, we lay down, together with our colleagues, the foundation and the infrastructure to really understand, uh, on, on a very rapid time scale, uh, the nature of all these effects once they uh, became clear.